This week's tip is all about that border that nobody seems to like, but everybody seems to use. The first thing you want to do is right-click on it underneath the sheet and delete it. Then underneath Drawing Resources, you're going to want to right-click on the Borders folder and Define New Border. And if you look, you're basically in a sketching environment now. So what we're going to do is create a two-point rectangle. Then we're going to dimension this rectangle to the edge of the paper. That's what those four black dots with the locks indicate. We're going to simply dimension the edge of the border to the edge of the paper. This is going to be 0.75 inches. And I'm going to reuse that dimension over and over again simply by clicking on it again for each corner. This way, if I ever want to change it from 0.75 to a half an inch or an inch or whatever I want to do, I only have to change one dimension. Once I get all of my dimensions placed, I can then go in and work with the layer or the thickness of that particular piece of geometry. So in this case, I'm going to select all four edges of my border. I'm going to go up to format. I can add it to a specific layer. I can put a specific line weight to that border. When you're all done, you hit finish sketch. You're going to name the border. I'm just going to call it my first name, Luke. And now when I drop in that border, you will see I have a brand new border, but the width is a little off. So I'll simply edit that particular border. I'll pick my components again, or my edges of my border again. Once I have them selected, I'll go up to Format, I'll go to my Line Weight, and I will bump this up to 0.028, finish my sketch, and now I have a very simple border without the zones and without the arrows. And obviously you want to save this into a template at some point. <laughs>